Good morning, I am Dr. Suresh Reddy, Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist from Motherhood Hospitals, Hebal. When we talk about infertility, WHO, the World Health Organization, has termed infertility as a couple living under the same roof, trying for a pregnancy, not using any sort of contraception, have not achieved conception or a pregnancy at the end of one year, it is called infertility, it is termed as infertility. Um, so basically, um, if you look at uh, broadly, 80% of uh, people who are trying for a pregnancy try to achieve pregnancy by the end of second year at least. There are only like uh, 10 to 20% of them who fail to achieve conception by the end of three years of their uh, trying for a pregnancy. So you, uh, the best way to go ahead or go forward is uh, what we call about as uh, pre-pregnancy counselling is a very important thing. So the minute you start trying for a pregnancy, you need to go and uh, see the doctor just to find out how healthy you are. Are there any concerns that we need to be worried about? Um, are there any you know hurdles that you may face? Uh, while you're trying for a pregnancy and also to discuss about any pre-pregnancy test that you need to do as well as uh, folic acid supplementation that you need to take so this actually will set you off uh, with a you know um, clear mind sometimes uh, we do come across a young couple who are very worried who come to us uh, the first one that they have tried second month they have tried they have increased their stress level so much the periods become irregular Third month, they are in the doctor's cabin uh, asking for, uh, yes, uh, what could be done, uh, we are infertile. So, that is not a terminology that they have to use. So, it would have been better off if they would have seen their doctors before they started uh, planning for the pregnancy. They would have got a clear idea about how long they can try, how, uh, say, or how healthy they are and, um, you know, how to go about it. Uh, so when we come across, as we were talking about after one year of trying, so it uh, depends on age group also. If uh, now of late we are seeing that uh, women are getting married late because of their careers, job prospects and all that stuff. Uh, when you are uh, closer to 34, 35, uh, you are talking about and it's a very late marriage, we wouldn't want you to wait more than six months uh, if you've not conceived uh, to get yourself investigated. Because uh, for women, um, the age is uh, very important. Um, we age uh, along with us uh, our eggs also age and we tend to have a low potential for fertility fertility uh, rates decline as we cross 35 years of age group so we would want you to if you are somewhere near the 33 34 35 years of age group do come and meet the doctors one yes pre-pregnancy as well as getting investigated for fertility point of view once you are uh, at least tried for six months is what I would say is the best. What needs to be looked into? What all could go wrong? Why people do not conceive? Uh, we have a basic concept of, uh, we divide it into three. It could be a male factor, uh, that means the problem may be in the uh, husband uh, where the sperm that needs to be motile, uh, that needs to have a decent amount of count and that leads to look reasonably good. There may be some faults in that. Uh, this needs to be evaluated also. And uh, there's something called uh, the female part. In the female, uh, we look out, we evaluate things like whether the lady is ovulating well, the egg releasing function is good, uh, their tubal status, whether the tubes, the where uh, the conception happens, the pregnancy starts off or the fertilization happens in the tubes uh, which are closely attached to the uterus. So we would be evaluating them for that also, whether to make sure that the tubes are open. Um, we also look at the environment where the conception happens, that is the cavity. Sometimes the cavity may be having uh, double uteruses, the cavity may be having something called a septum, like a small wall in the uterine cavity. The cavity may be having something called fibroids or polyps uh, that may come in the way of uh, conceiving uh, or carrying on a pregnancy. So all these things are uh, evaluated uh, when we start investigating uh, them for the fertility aspect. So sometimes you tend to notice that uh, the tests are done basic tests that are done for the evaluation of the tubes, evaluation of their fertility, I mean ovulation as well as the male partner all come out to be fine. So that's when we start the uh, treatment uh, part for them. So basically how we go about is uh, we try to give them uh, what is called ovulation induction that is uh, where we tell to help uh, the women achieve ovulation on a timed basis where we are monitoring how she responds, how she develops the egg and all. Uh, once she develops the egg well, we ask them to do which, what is called a timed intercourse so that uh, they try to achieve uh, fertility within that uh, time frames. So once we've tried that, sometimes we may have to offer them like after a few months, like usually we try it for six months to one year depending on the underlying problem. If it is egg releasing was a major problem, the women has been suffering from what is called polycystic ovaries as we all know PCOS it is called. They may not be ovulating well. They
they may be releasing their eggs very haphazardly so these women are uh, given medications to help them achieve egg ovulation i mean egg release uh, regularly so once egg release is happening for 6 uh, months to 10 months most of them should achieve conception if the rest of the other parameters or the other factors are all fine uh, if the treatment of ovulation induction does not uh, help them achieve uh, pregnancy then uh, we request them to move on with the next step which is called intrauterine insemination if the tubes are healthy the sperm is reasonably acceptable or uh, the egg release function is good as per our scans and as per the monitoring that has been done in the previous cycles so we expect couples to achieve conception by 3 to 4 cycles of intrauterine insemination uh the women uh, the couple who are trying the 20% we are talking about who are trying should have achieved pregnancy at least 10% of them should have achieved uh, their pregnancy by the end of uh, their treatment let us say at least in years time it could take in some so what i would encourage uh, people who are seeking fertility is also not to rapidly keep on changing doctors basically what happens is we tend to notice that uh, they see a doctor they, they think that the minute they visit the doctors fertility happens which is not the case obviously doctors have to first uh, see what's the background history evaluate them and also try to you know set as a plan for them plan of action for them everything can't be done at uh, the first visit itself so if you're patient and then you continue on with a doctor any doctor whoever you're following up at least for 6 months to 1 year majority of them should be able to achieve uh, conception there are still unfortunately uh, certain groups whatever you do how much ever you try with all your uh, treatment aspects do not become pregnant with a uh, natural or uh, simple assisted techniques for uh, infertility or it may be found that uh, during their initial investigations that the tubes are blocked they are not good enough for a uh, natural conception or the semen uh, shows the sperm analysis has uh, shown that the count is too low for them to achieve a natural conception these couple are uh, briefed about uh, the additional procedures that you can look at that is the advanced infertility treatment that you can uh, you know approach for which is like ivf or icc so this uh, is briefed about at whichever stage of uh, you know the treatment uh, the treating that the couple would need that and we'll be taking it further from there our motto at motherhood hospitals um, the whole combined team approach uh, is to ensure that you have a safe delivery we would uh, all uh, want you to go home uh, healthy safe as well as your baby to be healthy and safe uh, this is what we all aim for and uh, achieve uh, the same and give you the same outcome thank you